Ross Olney here. It will not shock those of you who know me, but I am not a wrestler. In fact, I'm not much of an athlete. I was knocked out on my very first high school football game practice when one of my best friends, who realized the seriousness of the situation, took me down with a hard tackle. Down on that long ago, midwinter, frozen, rock-solid Ohio football field. I never played again, not because of injury, but because of sheer terror. And I have never wrestled with anyone. Well, maybe I'm insecure about myself, but I can't imagine hugging another guy that closely. And although wrestling with a woman sounds intriguing, I'd have to think that if she was fighting back with that much gusto, there must be some other problem. I've checked out college wrestling from time to time, but I quickly move on. Those puffy ear protectors look interesting, and I find myself wondering why they need them. And I soon move on to a more familiar sport like hockey or basketball or football. Sports that move quickly without the posing and grunting and puffing of wrestling. The sport of wrestling is on the verge of taking a big hit. It's a sport that always brings to my mind the wonderful work of Meredith Wilson and his marvelous play, The Music Man. I love the scene where actor Paul Ford, as River City's Mayor Shin, describes one of his fondest memories from childhood. He smiles softly as he remembers the night when top wrestling stars Frank Gotchen and Strangler Lewis appeared in his hometown. It was a huge moment. The two famed athletes, according to the mayor, laid on the mat for three and a half hours without moving a muscle. Oh, that was exciting, recalls the mayor. But I'll get to the point. Those who oversee Olympic wrestling on the program from the beginning, from hundreds of years ago, are considering dropping it from the games. Olympic events have certainly been dropped, and many have been added. Wild events like acrobatic snowboarding, where athletes turn dangerous somersaults in the air, and other unusual events. But wrestling has been there from the beginning, centuries ago. And local wrestlers, and wrestling coaches, and certainly others from around the country and the world, are protesting. Why, they ask, are they considering removing wrestling, one of the most solid foundations of the Olympics? Wrestling, and yes, they did do it in the nude in ancient times, but there were no women in the audience to enjoy it, has always been one of the core competitions. A few modern officials should not be permitted, according to fans, to remove this activity. I'm going to suggest that we all get on this bandwagon and join the protest about removing the sport of wrestling from the Olympics next time around. If enough people protest, the officials will listen, and the event will remain on the agenda. And you know something? I guess I'll pay more attention to wrestling. I may even attend a match one of these times. Yeah, I hope they do something more than just laying on the mat without moving a muscle, but fans of the sport say even this is often very exciting. Mayor Shen from River City would almost certainly agree. Hey, thanks for watching.